I wanted to make a real quick video just because, um, well, I've this last two weeks gotten a whole bunch of comments lately from men's rights activists and uh, their ilk, um, and I deleted them all because I don't know if you've noticed, but um. This is my channel. So, I always <coughs> have comments on moderation. And if I don't like your comment, then your comment never sees the light of day. So, um, yeah, there's not really a lot of point posturing or trolling me, because you're literally only trolling me. No one else will ever see it, because I have all of my comments moderated, so if running around to feminists and attacking them in comments is your thing, you might get more out of it going to someone who doesn't moderate their comments, because all I end up doing is just deleting them. And I've gotten a whole bunch recently, which makes me think that, like, I don't know, did you guys on Reddit just decide to start searching YouTube for feminists and then just attacking all the videos you found? Because I also noticed that the videos that you are doing it to, um, I don't think you're watching them, to be honest. Um, because, <laughs> wait, okay, when you did it on the the video about suicide, that was, that was a one-off, but that was clearly you just not getting what I was trying to say, which, all right, fine. But, um, doing it to the video where I said I'm a feminist, I'm not sure why you were getting so upset about it, because I defended men. I was distinctly accused of misandry. And I talked a lot about men being hurt by patriarchy. Like, I talked about some of the issues that men's rights activists are so focused on. And I think they're rightfully concerned about those things. I don't necessarily agree with how they're expressing that concern. But I recognize that father's rights is a problem and that... Uh, a variety. Like, there's there's problems for both sides. I think I said that pretty clearly, that patriarchy hurts everybody, and that I would like to see it come down so that we can all be happy, equal friends. But the other thing that got me was that the same commenter that accused me of misandry, misandry, I'm not sure how to say that, I've only read the word, then said that I have short hair so, misandry, short hair, and am therefore a lesbian. Um... The... Well... <laughs> I cracked up at work. I was like, are you... You're joking. You're joking, right? This means lesbian. I don't have short hair because I'm a lesbian. I have short hair because when I was 11 years old, I hadn't cut my hair in seven years and it went down past my butt. And a girl at my homeschool connection center, who was quite a bit bigger than me, started pulling me around the school by my hair and I was physically unable to repel her, and thus my response to somehow making myself invulnerable to her physical bullying and attacks was to remove the handhold that she had on my skull. So after seven years of not cutting my hair, I cut my hair to my jawline, and I've had it short ever since then. My hair is short because someone hurt me with my hair, 
and I don't ever want that to happen again. Also, my hair is naturally quite thick and remarkably curly for someone with no apparent predisposition towards curly hair, aside from my brother. My brother has super, super tight ringlets. Like, my brother has curly hair. Mine is just sort of annoyingly curly. Um, so I get straight perms, and when I get it cut, I get it thinned, because it is thick as sh Like, this, I got this cut, what, two weeks ago? Three weeks ago? Look how much hair is still here. He cut out, like, half of it, and it's still here. It's crazy. So I keep it short, because when it's long, it's really heavy and really hot, and it's really hard to style, and I don't like it. That's why my hair is short. My, sh my short hair has nothing to do with the fact that I also like women. Which I do, by the way. I'm not sure if my, I'm sure my regular viewers are well aware of the fact that I am a solid Kinsey 3. I swing both ways. I thought that was pretty well established or well known. Maybe it's not, so I guess I'm going to say it now. I, hi, I'm bisexual and have been my entire life to the point where no one, I never had to come out. It was just sort of default assumed, I think. <laughs> my parents had a pretty good idea that I am I'm interested in ladies and the gents. I don't, I don't discriminate. I have had relationships with men, I've had relationships with women, I've had emotional feelings for both for most of my life, and it's, it's fine, it's grand, it's, I'm bi. The only thing that gets, like, really bi erasure is the only problem that I've had. The bisexuals face a unique problem, which is that we're constantly doubted by gay people, consistently. Um, there's this idea that bisexual people cannot be satisfied unless they have men and women, which, like, no, that's not, that's like, okay, if you like beef and chicken, are you only satisfied if you have beef and chicken with every meal? No, of course not. That's stupid. Like, if I'm dating a girl, I do not constantly long for a penis, and vice versa. This just, no. <laughs> That's not how that works. I like people. Gender isn't really, doesn't really figure into that. To such a degree that actually I'd probably more accurately call a pansexual in that queer women also do it for me, and queer men do it for me, and trans, like, I'm not, I'm really, really, really the opposite of picky in terms of gender selection of partners. Um, I like people. That's, that's pretty much it. I like people. I'm into people. That's what I'm into. So, uh, on, like, androgyny? Shit, man, I love that. I love some straight up, I don't know if you're a guy or a girl, but you're hot. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, so bi erasure is a problem, where people are like, bi people don't exist, they're just gay people who aren't willing to commit to being gay, or straight people that want to be all kinky. Like, no, that's, those are different things. Those are different things. <laughs> please don't, please don't deny I exist just because you once met a girl who was experimenting. Please don't deny I exist just because you once met a guy who was hiding his gay. Like, <laughs> I actually consistently have, over my entire life, been this way. So, uh, I think it's safe to say I'm not experimenting. Uh, so, yeah, please don't do that. Also, gay women really don't... I guess this, this is really unfortunate... I, it peters out as we get older, but there's this instinctive reaction to uh, young women having sexual relationships with other women is that they're experimenting and that they will eventually determine they're actually straight and go back to men. Um, which is not accurate, <laughs> first of all. It really doesn't happen that often. But second of all, I'm 27. I'm not experimenting anymore. I never really did experiment, to be honest. I kind of just stayed out of that for a while. I was like, mm -hmm. not really something I need in my life, and I didn't, so I didn't, and uh, hasn't really come up. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm bi or pansexual, 
whichever you choose. Bi makes more people understand. But pansexual, when I say I'm pansexual, I have to explain it to people. So sometimes I just say bisexual because I'm lazy. But yeah, on the good old fashioned Kinsey scale, I am a solid Kinsey 3. I have never ever tested as anything other than a Kinsey 3. So I'm. Yeah. So. So you're half right because I'm half lesbian. Unfortunately for you, the other half of me is not lesbian. I am heterosexual sometimes, in a sense. So, while my haircut is short, I'm afraid I do not have an instinctive hatred for men that is related to my sexual orientation. Because actually I quite like men and women. Not at the same time. Well, okay, maybe at the same time in a very, very special circumstance <laughs> that I cannot immediately come up with. But I wouldn't rule it out just because life is strange and you never know. <laughs> I don't want to put it off the table, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm sitting at that table yet, so I'm just gonna save room for I don't know where this metaphor is going anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, so shout out to all the feminists who are getting trolled by people who are really, you know, if you really have something to say, maybe you should say it to someone who believes you or can be, who, well, someone who believes you is a good start. Um, and also to someone where other people might hear you because commenting on my videos with negative things about me just gets you deleted and banned. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but I also have mental instability issues. And because I said it, you bringing it up is going to... Hopefully you will notice that it doesn't bother me uh, that I am mentally unstable at times because I'm also medicated and not actually that unstable. But um, being that mental illness features highly in my videos, and I have videos where I have had panic attacks on camera and breakdowns and vented and gotten through it, um, people can be mean. And to be honest, watching my own videos when I'm having breakdowns is really difficult for me. I can't I can't rewatch my own hard videos without having a really visceral response to it. So when someone leaves a mean comment on a visceral video, really, you're gonna you're gonna kick someone who is visibly and audibly really super down. That's it's not a good way to go through the world. So yeah, you have something mean to say. Don't. Just don't. Because you can't convince me and no one else is going to see it on my channel, so if you want to go out and get people to see you and listen to you, I would recommend going somewhere else because you're really not going to get that from me or my videos. Sorry. Um, and I guess brownie points for figuring out that sometimes I like women. Although I really feel like that one this doesn't... I don't... Did you guys know? I thought everybody knew. I've never really hidden it. Ever. Like, in my life. I, did you guys know? Did I mention... I know I've talked... Because I know I've talked about my ex-girlfriend. And I know I've talked about guys that I've dated. I haven't talked about the girl that I'm... Kind of, sort of, dating right now. Because we're still... Hmm. We're, we're in a, in a, in a stage of not yet having a word for what we are, but <laughs> we're working on it. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna sort it out. I'm seeing her on Monday, so. <laughs> um, she's very nice. She's very sweet. She's from Denmark. Um. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. 
anybody, if you'd like to share in the comments about times when you were attacked by trolls who didn't apparently didn't have anything better to do with their time, I probably will approve those comments. Because <laughs> I approve comments that I think are valuable or worth listening to or just not outright bile. Which is what I have been getting lately, so. And I'm still feminist. You haven't really changed my mind. Bye! <laughs> Get it? Bye!